pups. Welcome back to Burgess Funhouse. I am in Wild Horse Island and I want to show you how to complete the quest for the hunt. So when you come in, first thing you need to do is come over here and talk to Nancy. And she tells you that her horses are loose and she needs your help catching them. But first you need a lasso. So you have to actually go and chop down a tree to help make one of those. So she gives you a harvester to use. So you say, sounds good, I'll be right back. And then it actually is going to point you to a tree. And then you go and chop down that tree. You equip your little ax down here. And then you get the log and then it tells you to go to your backpack at the bottom and then the craft at the bottom and then the wooden lasso on the left and then click craft at the bottom. I like this one because it tells you how to complete the quest. It highlights everything for you so you're not trying to figure it all out by yourself. So now we need to lasso a horse. So you see it puts a circle around you and you run over the top of the horse until and you click it until you lasso one so we caught this one and now we need to just take the horse back to Nancy you see the horse is following because we have the lasso this quest did not take long at all so don't worry it's a very quick badge you say okay and now um, she tells you you can keep this horse because it loves you and all of the other ones came back. So now you just need to go to the mainland. You see it says travel to the mainland. So you can get on your horse and ride it, which gives you another badge. So we're going to follow the arrows to the ship that is going to take us to the mainland. And once we get to the mainland, we have to take the special portal for the hunt event. So, um, control actually helps you stop. That is a, um, a big helper there because sometimes it's a little hard to stop. You get another badge for going here. Okay, so, um, you drive, obviously, ride the horse the same way you would walking, but, um... So the sprinting is a little weird sometimes. Sometimes it's working and sometimes it's not. I think there's like a stamina. If you look over on the left side, I think there's a stamina bar. So you see we ran over here to the portal. This really big, glowy, <laughs> colorful, rainbow-looking one. And this is where we're going to do the circuit. So you can just drop down here and follow the um, neon colors. There was actually a ramp that I did not see at first. This pink circle here, it says Neon Circuit. Oopsie, we need to hit control so we can actually stop in the circle. Um, and we push E to go and start the race. Um, it's really just you running it by yourself, so it's not like you have to win against other people. So don't worry about that. Now we're just going to follow this path. You see there's like a bubble that you have to run into. So make sure you run into those. And it even kind of points to where the next one is going to land which is quite nice, but again, it just follows this neon path anyways, it's on the ground. So we're just gonna continue following it, make sure we're running in the middle. Okay, make sure we're running into it. Oh, and I don't know what I just did there. Oh, I missed that one. Running with the horse is a little weird. There we go, let's turn around. There we go. So hopefully your time will be a little faster than mine since I missed that bubble. Not that it matters because I still get it no matter how slow I went just now. So you can see it says 8 out of 16 on the top so that lets you know how far. Now this one you have to jump over which obviously I don't do a great job of at first because the timing is weird. But um, it doesn't really matter. Um, so the horse is thirsty. We can wait until the end of this, or at least I was able to. Uh, you can also stop in the middle, I'm sure, because you're not really racing against anyone. And go ahead and equip the um, water bucket to give your horse water, but I was able to wait until the end. You can see it's, um, how I'm doing better with timing my jumps a little bit here and there. And also remember, your horse has a stamina bar, so it can't always, like, gallop super fast. So that also makes a difference when you are um, 
doing this circuit because I think the horse needing water also will help replenish that stamina bar. All right, here is the end. And there we go. You see you're already awarded the badge and a badge for also doing the circuit. So that is how you complete the badge for Wild Horse Island in the hunt. And don't worry, I didn't forget about my horse. I'm giving my horse some water. So thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and like this video. We'll see you next time. Bye, Ray Drops. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.